picture of Guy Carr. Yeah. Woo! I thought, man, all right, that's cool. We always know you're in the right joint. We see a picture of Guy Clark in the wall. So I'm gonna send this out to him. A couple, a couple months ago, I, I got the guts to call him up. He's been one of my heroes forever. And I'm sitting down in his basement where he, where everybody, uh, all all aspiring songwriters go, where they all decide uh, that it'd be cool because they don't want to look like a fool and they smoke weed with Guy Clark. <laughs> And they go there uh, with uh, initial aspirations to write a song, and they just leave stone. <laughs> and I was always, I always heard those stories. Hey, Carl's got one where he was like lying down, and scared to death. And uh, I thought, man, oh, I can't handle it. And uh, but then you know, I finally realized you're fucking, you're almost an old man. You can either say yes, I want to smoke weed, or not. <laughs> so. Uh, so I was sitting down there with him, and uh, obviously he was high. You'll know that by the rest of the story. He looks at me, and I, I had to, I, I got in a fight with Justin Boots a couple of years ago, and um, so I, so every for like ten shows in a row, every time I played barefoot and crazy, I'd take off my Justin Boots and I'd throw them into the crowd because I was barefoot and crazy and really good stuff. They're like, "Wow, that's so cool! You can wear your boots." <laughs> So I had a brand new pair of boots on when I went to Guy's house and I'm standing, sitting down there at his, at his uh, little workshop area at this little table and he makes guitars down there and, and I'm sitting there and he's looking at me and I was looking at him and he goes, those look like new boots. I said, yes, they are. And only Texans will know what he, what he meant by this. The next thing he said was, well, that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I got a few miles to put on these and I don't have any freshmen people to break my boots in. And so he goes, well, what size are you? I said, 13? He says, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. That car has big boots. <laughs> He says, well, I wear size 13 too. I said, oh, that's cool. He goes, you know what? When we're done here, I got a pair of handmade Charlie Dunn boots upstairs that I'm not wearing anymore. Yeah. And uh, so I was like, well, this song kind of sucks, so how about you go get those boots for me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to forget. It was all. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, after we were done, he went upstairs and get, got me not one but two pairs of Charlie Denham boots. And I, I was proud of this part because I looked at him and I warm and I said, thank you so much. I said, but you know, guy, I figured these would be harder to fill. Oh. Sure. <laughs> when I got home, I, uh, at some point during that same session, he says, you know, my favorite hat's the open road Stetson hat. Oh, no shit, that's the only hat I've ever worn. Dad. <laughs> so I went home and I sent him my hat. I don't know we're even, but I have a feeling we're not. So uh, I'd like to send this out to him because this song says a lot about what I believe in. An old blue shirt suits me just fine. I like the way it feels, so I wear it all the time. I got an old guitar, it won't ever stay in tune. I like the way it sounds in a dark, empty room. Woo! Got an old pair of boots that fit me just right. I can work all day and I can dance all night. Got an old used car and it runs just like a top. Get the feeling it ain't ever gonna stop. Stuff that works, stuff that holds up. Kind of stuff you don't hang on the wall. Stuff you feel, the kind of stuff you 
reach for when you fall. Got a pretty good friend, see me at my worst. You can't tell if I'm a blessing or a curse. But he always shows up when the chips are down. That's the kind of stuff I like. You don't hang on the wall Stuff that's real Stuff you feel Kind of stuff you reach for when you fall Stuff you feel, kind of stuff. 